So our next speaker is uh, Nicole Trier Gavin, who is a PKU parent advocate. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the uh, the acronym. Uh, and Nicole is going to talk about coverage gaps for medically necessary foods. Nicole. Good morning. Good afternoon. So I had <clears throat> a little time of panic this morning. I had my papers that I bring everywhere with my PKU information and in case I need it. And I was looking at it. It was a huge PowerPoint insurance challenges and ways to succeed and resolving the paradox known as medical food reimbursement for treatment of inborn errors of metabolism. And I was panicking. I said, I can't go to this meeting and explain this to these people. I, I don't understand it. I'm not the expert. And I don't even know if there really is even an expert on this. That's kind of the situation that we're in. So I said, I'm just gonna tell them my story and what we've experienced. So my son has PKU, and I, I'll pronounce it. Um, phenylketonuria is the name of the disease. He um, is on a strict low protein diet. His body cannot metabolize one amino acid in protein. The amino acid is called phenylalanine. For 2013, um, we transitioned to using our medical insurance because with newborn screening, um, you know, there's so many more uh, disorders to treat. It was just impossible for the hospital to continue to provide all of this food and formula for all of these patients. And, you know, and you should, our medical insurance should be paying for it. It makes sense. Um, and then it's kind of like the ugly part, like the reality of the coverage and, you know, it turns into a little bit of a fight. So, do we want insurance to cover our grocery shopping? No. We want them to cover the medical formula and food, especially modified medical food, not baby formula, not gluten-free food. It's not insured or diet food from the grocery store. Nothing can be purchased in the grocery store. Is food purchased by prescription? I'll put quotes on prescription because we don't fill it at a CVS pharmacy. And this is where like all this stuff comes in, like how things are coded, and and that's kind of like beyond me. Like I feel like that's for insurance to kind of figure out. Um, we just know that this is therapy that's prescribed, and we understand why it's such a struggle for us to get it. So the food comes from specialty distributors or manufacturers, nothing from the grocery store. 85% um, of the PKU patients' nutritional needs come from this medical food. So there's a couple of other examples. So we have the delicious formula. Um, there's some like drink formulas. We have uh, so the one piece of bread. This is a, mm, uh, <laughs> A low protein burger with a bond. The bond is close to zero protein. The burger is one gram of protein. So this is equivalent to like a quarter of a piece of that bread. And so that would be much more satisfying. Okay, so play a little price is right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one of the ones we try our as an infant. 2250 to purchase this one can directly from the distributor online, which I couldn't do. My insurance said, no, you can't do that. You have to go through the in-network provider, distributor. Okay, so they charged us $162.20 for the same can of formula. And so when I started all this, I was a little bit of an Italian temper. I'm like, you can't. You can't, do, you can't yell at them. You can't. These people are strict. They're taking advantage. So many, many, many phone calls. So one of the phone calls, one of the girls told me, well, yes, ma'am, yes, we can. Um, the national sale price, the highest amount that we could charge you, is $296 for this one can. Okay. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense to me. And I understand it. I, insurance companies do a lot of good. And I, I said, what? And I even said to them, why are you paying this when you could be getting it for this? 
So again, I don't understand all the inner workings of it, but it makes sense to me. My son is now this ready to drink formula. Anyone want to guess what this process is? One serving, he has three a day. Anyone? A number? $100. $100. It's a little more reasonable. $18. Yeah. So three times a day. So $18. So that's $54 a day. This makes me a little upset. $19,000. And we do have coverage on this. Not everyone does, and that's the problem. So in addition to the formula, the food, I thought we made about $2,000. For the solid foods, my son's little. He's four. He's not eating a lot now. Your tolerance does not go up as you get older. So if you start out at four grams of protein, it's going to stay up there. So you're going to need more calories, more sustenance, so you feel full, so you don't go off diet, so you don't have neurological damage. So a lot of us are running with 20% copay. You know, that is what it is. So with this setup, my co-pay is about $4,340 a year for 20%. Um, I feel like I, I, um, I taught in this alternative school and I had this student that I loved. And he, uh, he had this thing, he didn't want to go to gym class one day. This is how he said, I'm going to go to gym class. This is easy, go to gym class. This is what I feel like when we're dealing with insurance. Okay, we'll find a product for you. Um, we need this. We can't cover it. It's for this off. We can't cover you. This is what I feel like. Yes, they're kind of working on it. And it's happening. But every time I, when that happens, I think of my student. And, no, we don't know. I'll do it on my time. And I just feel like for a lot of us, you know, you just don't have that extra. You don't have that extra gift of all that extra time, like, a little wrong. So, um, so I'm advocating for one woman in our group, one woman um, who has the same condition as my son, who we see at clinic. She has an hour in, and she lives in a group home. She would not be able to come here and do this. I'm advocating for one family who has a different um, metabolic disorder, she actually lost it, her children are older, which is sort of has since been identified, but she lost her first child. Um, her second child has it, he's doing okay. Their insurance needs are met, so they feel, you know, they've gone back into their, and no judgment whatsoever, they've gone back into their bubble of, okay, we're, we're good, we're comfortable with our families that they can't come and do this, they're not comfortable doing that. For the teens and adults who can't tolerate, this restricted diet without those extra foods and quantity. Um, and especially for us, the people who are coming up against the ERISA plans, where it's case by case, they can say no if they want to, and there's no coverage. And for my four year old, he can't come up here and do this for himself, although he's terribly cute. Um, he's usually in a NASA astronaut suit, or a Batman cape, or a Captain America shield. I'd be worried about it. So I feel as though I have to be his girl to advocate for him. Again, this dangerous insurance avoids shuffle. I think that we can do better and that we can figure it out. So, thank you.